I am showered and clean and looking a mess, but whatever. <sighs> Took all my makeup off in the shower. Best feeling in the world, but I've got a huge zit. Let's get a good focus in on that. Two, actually. That top one, that is gonna be a B right there. It's one of those bruised ones. I seriously get those at least one or two a month. It's usually before I start my period and it literally, ow, hurts so bad. So I'm gonna try not to touch it. But I'm currently watching um, Ink Master, which I recently got into um, this season. I've been obsessed with it. And I guess this is the third season, so I'm kind of bummed I missed season one and two. I love this show. I'm so obsessed with it. And it's the finale right now. And it's basically, if you guys haven't heard of it, like they get a big group of, I think they chose like 16 of the top um, tattoo artists in the United States, I guess, and just compete every week in challenges and in tattoo challenges. And then one person's voted off every week. And it's just a competition, so it's a finale uh, between three people. And I'm really hoping Tattoo Baby wins because this is her second time coming back. And I am rooting for her. And she's the only girl on it, too. I think her tattoos are so sick, too. They're literally so cool. So comment down below if you guys watch Ink Master. It's a really, really fun show. Especially if you like tattoos. It's just really interesting. Anyways, I think that's pretty much my night. I'm gonna get in bed, I think. Put away some, a couple more clothes. Maybe clean my room a little bit. Get in bed. Go to sleep. Good night. Mwah. So, the time has come. Dinner time. Wasn't too sure what to have, so <laughs> I'm ordering a pizza. <laughs> I've been a little bit on the pizza rampage. I swear I've had like one or two per week for the past maybe three or four weeks. That's not good, but what can I say? I love my pizza. For a pickup. Um, can I have just a small um, Canadian bacon pizza? Um, let's see, the thickest, is I think that's pan, right? Yes. No, that'll be it. Okay, thank you. Well, she wasn't very excited. I'm just... Whatever. I look a mess. I just got home from work a little bit ago and I'm out of breath. And I have food all over my shirt. That's always great. Um, ew, and on my mouth. Uh, but I got home from work and I was like such in a baking mood. Like all I wanted to do was bake. So I went to the store on my way home and got some stuff for dinner and dessert. And usually I, I am an awful cook. I pretty much live off of going out to eat and macaroni and cheese and quesadillas and bean and cheese burritos and just like grilled cheeses and like really easy stuff and top ramen. I just, ugh, I guess, I think my main problem is I love cooking, but I'm so lazy when it comes to it that I never cook. So I just felt like cooking. So I made homemade taquitos, which actually was really easy um, and homemade guacamole. And I make guacamole all the time. So actually both were pretty easy. It was really good. I just had dinner. And now I am making chocolate chip cookies. Homemade. And it's pretty easy too. Um, I've all done this before. So it's pretty simple. Um, I just use recipes that I've had. And yeah, it was really, really good. I'm really full. But I just put the cookies in the oven. Actually, I think the timer just went off, so let's go check on them. Oh no, just kidding. There's four minutes left. Let's look on them. Look on them. Look at them. Oh, oh, oh. 
They look so good. I just use, I can't even find the recipe now. I use just like a very simple, I think it's like the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookie recipe. Um, but it makes a ton of chocolate chip cookies. I didn't know it made this many. I have this huge bowl still full of cookie dough, so this will literally probably last me like another at least two or three dozen cookies. Um, but I'm gonna make a bunch tonight and take them into work tomorrow. So, oh, and this is my homemade guacamole. I made just a really small batch for me. And oh my god, this salsa. This is so random, but I freaking love this salsa. This is one of my favorites, La Victoria salsa, and it's hot because I love spicy stuff. The spicier, the better. So delicious. And then I don't have any more taquitos. I made them just a little batch. And yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share with you guys how much I have loved cooking. If you guys want me to do, actually, I've done a cookie video already. I think last summer I filmed a chocolate chip cookie recipe video and they turned out really good and I might refilm my how to make my homemade guacamole because the one I did on my vlog channel a while ago turned out horrible it turns out I didn't have like half the stuff I needed and so I just did like a really simple version of it so maybe I'll do another one once I have all the ingredients for it <sighs> Jesus take the wheel take it from my so I'm currently watching a baseball game while my cookies are in the oven. Actually, I took them out. They're right there. But I want, to, uh, want them to cool a little bit before I put the second batch in. But I have been obsessed with sports, you guys. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. Like, cooking, sports, like, wife me up. Like, someone please wife me up right now because I have been watching, um, keeping up with, um, baseball lately and I've always watched baseball with my mom I never got super into it like it was just like a casual watch with her um, but uh, now that it's almost the World Series it's the ALCS I think that's the league they're in right now it's like some it's the one right before the World Series where there's four teams two teams competing against each other from Oh my gosh, did he just hit a home run? Damn it, he caught it. I'm watching the Cardinals and the Dodgers. I think it's like game three. Oh no, this is game four. And there's seven games. And I've been obsessed with watching baseball just because it's close to the World Series, so it's always interesting to see who wins that. Um, I'm rooting for the Dodgers. I was rooting for um, the Oakland A's because that is my team and I'm from Northern California so I straight up represent Oakland, Bay Area, they know what's up. Um, <laughs> they unfortunately lost to um, Detroit. So I am not rooting for Detroit. I hope the Dodgers and the Red Sox, because I really like those two teams besides the A's, go to the World Series. And then, I'm not sure who I'd, I think I'd wrote for the Dodgers just because I live in Southern California and I don't know, I've, I like the Dodgers, I think more than the Red Sox, but, um, yeah, I'm hoping that St. Louis Cardinals and Detroit don't win because I don't like those teams, especially because Detroit beat the A's, but the A's kind of sucked the game they played against Detroit, like, they seriously could not hit the freaking ball, but anyways, I'm going on. Rambling, if you guys watch Major League Baseball, comment down below who your favorite team is or who you're rooting for. So I meant to ask you guys, have you guys done any of the services at the Benefit Store? I picked this up the other day when I went to um, the Benefit Store downtown and I'm kind of interested in possibly doing um, my eyebrows there, but it's $20 and where I usually go I think it's usually like 15 but um, they never do that great of job they always kind of jack my eyebrows up so I'm thinking maybe spend a little bit of extra money and going to benefit to um, get my eyebrows done but let me know have you guys been to benefit and how is your experience if you have gone and have done like waxing or um, any of their services mm. 
Look at that cookie, you guys. Seriously? One of the best batches I think I've made in a long time. The only thing I hate about cooking, all the frickin' dishes. <laughs>